Today's object is something basic enough to wipe your bum on, delicate enough to use as confetti, strong enough to carry your shopping, and important enough to hold the world's knowledge. It's paper. It was famously invented in China by a court official called Lun in the second century, but we think it's probably even older because researchers recently found a fragment of a paper map that was annotated with Chinese characters dating back to 200 BC. Lun made his paper by mushing together the bark of a mulberry tree, hemp, and shredded cloth fibres to make a pulp which he then pressed and hung out to dry in sheets like this. It would change the world. And that's because before the invention of paper, people wrote on all sorts of things which were completely unsuitable. So they pressed letters into clay tablets, very heavy. Or they wrote on rolls of papyrus made from the pith of reeds, which gave us the name paper, but that was very fragile. Or they wrote on bark or bamboo, which again, too heavy to carry around. Or they used a uh, uh, light materials like silk or parchments like vellum, which are made from untanned skins of animals, but that was very expensive. Paper though, which was light enough to be bound in multiple pages and carried around, but also cheap enough to be mass produced. In fact, it was so cheap that the Chinese were using toilet paper and tea bags from the sixth century. But this suddenly made books affordable. So from the 7th century, China led the world in books and printed newspaper production. The technology was kept as a closely guarded secret by the Chinese. But at the end of the 8th century, the Arabs had cracked it. They learned paper making from their Chinese prisoners and a paper making, book binding, publishing industry boomed in Baghdad. This new availability of books led to mass literacy across the Abbasid Caliphate, and that helped to spread and combine a diversity of ideas among a diverse population which stretched from North Africa all the way across the Middle East. And it led to this cultural explosion which we look back on now as a golden age. Well, the Arabs too tried to keep the papermaking process a secret. And the Europeans didn't learn how to make paper until several centuries later. But with most of the European population illiterate, there really wasn't much need for it. Europe did acquire its own renaissance, but as is so often the case, this occurred um, through cultural evolution by a synergy of different processes. So Europeans learnt paper making skills and they also learnt the ability to print on an industrial scale with movable type through Gutenberg's press. And this occurred at the same time as a burgeoning merchant class arose which needed to keep, um, keep accounts. So literacy became necessary and easier and that drove the production of more written material which then became cheaper and so on. Now, we're living in a time when the uh, paperless society has been predicted. I mean, it's been predicted for decades, perhaps threatened is the right word, but I think it's a long way off yet. And that's because we can't do away with paper. We need it for all sorts of things.